Yo, what is up guys, this is Tiro back with another video on the Redmi Note 5 Pro and today in this video I'm going to be showing you the 16th August build of the Droid on Time or Dot OS on this device. So let me just go into the settings and show you guys what's like about the build. So here as you can see from the Dot OS version it's 3.1.1 official build over here and if I show you the Android version here we have the Droid on Time logo up top and dot ways here again it shows official android version 9 security patch is latest august 1st 2019 and this is based on the stock like illusion plus kernel by default let me just go back and if you go into system you can see the system updater over here you can change the theme of this system updater yes and let me show you as you can see there is this enable dark mode or like you can disable it this is how it looks like you can check for updates by just like clicking on this refresh i think this updater can even install the newer updates so that is a great thing i have pi firmware of course that is why i flash this rom and you need pi firmware twrp to like flash this rom if you don't know how to flash it i'll link it below like the how to flash guide will be linked in the description box below so do not worry inside gestures we'll find this like swipe up home button and stuff normal customization but let me tell you one thing which is missing over here in this rom or at least i couldn't find it is a long press for torch like whenever the screen is locked you can press the power button and hold it to like toggle the torch that feature is simply not there in this rom so that is one bummer other than that this rom is pretty fine the stock launcher over here is the quick step launcher let me show you as you can see there is the customizations and you get almost everything for the quick step launcher this is not the launcher launcher by the way and here double tap to sleep anywhere is working fine and here is the fingerprint scanner speed again i'm just like double tapping to like lock the device and unlocking by tapping on the fingerprint scanner so the fingerprint scanner speed is decent not bad but it's not the fastest that i can pretty much confirm and here we have this kind of like vaulty icon up here as you can see and you can change the battery icons and stuff etc too you can like swipe down anywhere from the home screen and this like the clear all button looks pretty dope to me at least as you can see you can just like tap on this it will clear all the notifications and this is how the quick setting panel looks like but you can definitely change these looks to the left we have the google now cards let me just show you guys the sound settings and here of course we do get the me audio dirac and this me audio dirac or sound enhancer is working fine over here no issues whatsoever regarding the like sound output via the headphone jack or even the bluetooth so sound is pretty great in this rom no issues whatsoever you can disable multiple sounds from here like screenshot sound etc and talking about screenshot yes we do have the three finger screenshot gesture and this just works flawlessly and it does not scroll in the display settings let me show you that we do have double tap to wake it works fine and also in the ui style you will find this dot os neo ui or black or light or even dark mode is there for the UI style and inside accent color we get a lot of accent colors as you can see from the screen there is no compromisations like over here and inside quick setting toggle styles you can change these kind of toggle styles by default it looks like this but you can change up to these many like toggle styles over here that is pretty good amount of customizations I would say and of course we do have the font option there are a lot of fonts over here as you can see from the screen lot of options for the fonts and by default the font is roboto as you can see let me go back the stock camera here is the miui camera so that is i would say one like advantage over here on top of havoc os if you i just like compare it in my personal opinion because the havoc os latest build comes with the snapdragon camera which is weird but yeah you get the miui camera and even portrait mode and stuff everything is working on this miui camera and also you can install google cameras too on this rom because camera to api is pre-enabled i'll link this like google camera in the description box below if you guys don't have this like night sight option and stuff but i think the night sight was better with the 6.2 this is the 6.3 google camera even portrait mode works with the google camera no issues whatsoever show you the customizations yes there are plenty of customizations inside this dot extras so from here as you can see there is this status bar navigation bar etc let me show you one by one let me tell you one more thing that if you go into this misc settings right after the first boot you may see a black screen or something like that but that is normal whenever you are first booting up the rom on the first boot you may see one or two black screens so that is just normal don't worry that the rom has bugs or something that is normal with this dot OS. 
and here we have the status bar like double tap to sleep and brightness control so here as you can see you can definitely control the brightness just by swiping on the status bar then we have wake up on charge disabling option 4g icon quality icon etc and in the battery like icon we have a lot of options like portrait circle big dotted circle dotted circle like etc like all these options are there and even android q style is there and battery icon percentage over here you have the option you can change these to like next to the icon or inside the icon for this like percentage option over here and if you talk about like clock and date stuff here we have the clock and date option and you can like increase the fonts and stuff i did change the clock font i hope you can see it from here on this left top corner and we also have the traffic indicators but the internet speed meter apps is not working app i use for monitoring my internet speed that is not working over here if you use those kind of apps for monitoring your internet speed that is a bummer and over here we have the headset bluetooth etc icon of course the series bar icons which we get in all roms and on this rom if you go in a customization sections like you have to go back from here if you like go back from here it just goes back all the way so that is one con too i am so used to with this back button and in the navigation settings in the stock settings you can like invert the layout of this navigation bar also you can adjust the portrait height and stuff pulse option is there let me go back again if you go into the quick setting panel we have this like brightness sliders option vibrate on touch toggle and i did that mistake again inside recents we have the like recent style changing option to pi or audio by default it looks like this let me go back from here and in the lock screen we have the lock screen like clock style over here let me show you how does the lock screen looks like as you can see right now it looks like this because i changed the font and it shows the temperature and stuff everything is there so the android q clock looks pretty dope over here i would say over here we also have this always unlock with the fingerprint scanner or like force fingerprint unlock so that thing is there this is really helpful even after reboot i can unlock with the fingerprint scanner face auto unlock is there i flash this rom with micro g apps that's why and we have the lock screen shortcuts option too and if you go into system we have the buttons but even here there is no like long press for torch option that i could like i could not find that option simply and we have the advanced reboot option so that is great and volume panel looks like this over here as you can see and you can customize the volume panel pretty much and in the like power button let me show you that we do have this advanced reboot and you can directly reboot to recover your fast boot or whatever you like in the general tweaks we have the swipe to take screenshot and also we have the battery charging light led etc so the notification led does show up when charging and in call vibration options are there and let me show you the in call ui so from here as you can see the in call ui does have the recording call option so that is good enough and also you get the video calling option and stuff if you need those for vaulty and let me tell you that google pay does work super fine over here like right out of the box you do not need to worry about google pay here now let's open chrome file explorer facebook twitter play store youtube Instagram and Spotify so now let's open all the apps from memory again so that you can guess the like speed over here of the app open ups and the animations you can see it from the screen so all the apps are in memory even though this is a 4GB RAM variant of the Redmi Note 5 Pro and as you can see the app open up speeds are fine enough and it's like the animations are pretty smooth i would say not bad at all but i do feel it's a little bit slower because i was using the redmi note 7 pro simply i think and talking about pubg let me open it up and show you guys and while it's loading let me talk about the battery life a little bit in this rom i would say if you do not play pubg or something like heavily it can definitely get you about six to seven hours of screen on time without any issues but if you do play PUBG, it's gonna give you about 3 to 4 hours of screen on time max to max. So that is how it is. You can definitely get 7 hours of screen on time or more than that if you are not a heavy user. So in terms of the graphic settings inside PUBG, you have the HD and high option. And you can go balanced and high and then smooth and high. So there is no extreme settings or something like that. So you can like only play on like the HD and high. Let me start a TDM and let me show you.
so that is all regarding the PUBG gameplay and I think you can see like how good is this ROM and you can choose between AOSIP Dirtfist and Dot OS between like the things I showed over here like you can definitely see the which ROM is great for you and it will definitely depend on your perspective and it has this kind of like pretty good looking like colors on this settings panel which you do not get in other ROMs and this kind of like battery thing over here the battery settings looks really dope and it says how long it should last so these things are pretty unique for this dot ways that is all i can say for this rom i give it a pretty much like thumbs up from me at least and let me know in the comments what do you guys think about this dot ways on the redmi note 5 pro until next time please subscribe and like hit the thumbs up button if you haven't yet thank you so much for watching guys this is tito again and i'll catch you guys in the next one